Number four, stay out of the sun. No, man, it's just not reality. The sun, as I have learned, the best advice I got about the sun, and I, and this is after 53, 52 years of avoiding the sun like the plague, of hearing all of the advertising that's come through to us, telling us cover up, cover up, cover up, of enriching the companies that make the lotions that you put on your body to hide yourself from that life-giving, energy-giving vitamin D providing sunshine that we all need. I spent the large majority of my life hiding from the sun. And therefore, anytime I was in the sun, I got sunburnt. Piece of advice I got over the last 12 months that I just agree with 100% is it's not the sunburn. It's that you can sunburn, meaning get out in the sun a little bit, be able to take it, get out in the sun a little bit more be able to take it a little bit more. Look, anything in, 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 in too much of anything is a bad thing. So you're going to go spend 10 hours a day in the sun with your shirt off, letting yourself just, just fry. It's up to you. Go for it. I, but like anything, there are too much of a good thing. In this case, I'm out in the sun one, two, three hours a day, uh, many times for an hour and a half, two hours, no shirt on, just shorts out, putting in my miles. And the life that it provides me, the energy that it gives me is palpable. The difference between before and after, before when I was fat and sitting at home and not exercising and not going outside and shrieking away from the sun because I didn't want it to touch me and I didn't want it to burn me, that's long gone and replaced with an absolute energy, a positive, physical, emotional, mental energy that I think I derive directly from the sun. Now I'm blind in one eye. And so I wear sunglasses and I've got to protect my eyes from that perspective. Things flying in them, not necessarily the sun, but I've got to protect them as much as I can. But if I didn't, I would not wear my sunglasses in the sun. You want that sun to come in through your eyes. You want your body to absorb it and you want to feel that. A lot of good podcasts out there about that. So if your doctor's telling you to avoid the sunshine, I'd find another doctor.